In some of our catechism classes this week, we're considering how Moses led the Israelites across the Red Sea. First of all, what a remarkable story, huh? The Israelites had gotten out of Egypt by the blood of the Passover lamb. Now they had the Red Sea on the one side of them and as was his custom, Pharaoh changed his mind and came with the entire Egyptian army to battle against the Israelites. It looked for all the world like Israel was going to be one great big pastrami sandwich between the Red Sea and the, uh, the Egyptian army. But then God had Moses raise his stick and the waters divided. The Israelites walked right on through. Imagine that. That would be like a whole bay separating in water and walking through it. When they got to the other side, by the next morning, God brought the waters back together and drowned all of the Egyptians. No longer would the Israelites, as they traveled on down to Mount Sinai, no longer would they have to keep looking over their shoulders, wondering when it was that the Egyptian army was going to overtake them again. So like I said, what a remarkable story for God's people and what a remarkable story for us because the Bible compares our salvation through Jesus Christ to this. We too faced an impossible situation and God made our way to the other side. In the meantime, he drowned our enemies for us. He did it with water. Of course, I'm referring to the water of holy baptism. In holy baptism, Jesus drowned our enemies for us. He drowned sin. Our sins are washed away in his wounds. He drowned death. Our death disappeared in his resurrection. He drowned Satan's power over us. We've got a new master. And he's our Savior, Jesus. And in this way, too, God's given us strength and power to battle these enemies more and more in our lives. Sin's no longer our owner. We can say no to sin. Death is no longer our owner. We go through death only to arrive to eternal life. And Satan's no longer our owner either. We can and we will say no to him. This week, live purely, live triumphantly, knowing that Jesus has drowned your enemies for you. And that'll be an excellent start to the week.